Karate kick. Karate kick. Get that thing up. Karate kick. Now the next thing we're going to do, it's the most important thing you're ever going to learn. When you want to rock hard for those people in the audience, you got to learn how to do a guitar smash. That's right, a guitar smash. Uh, Mr. D, are you sure that's such a great idea? I mean, Remember what happened last time when you showed us the power slide? That was a long time ago. It was a couple of weeks ago. I've been to rehab for the hip, gotten my limber back, did a little yoga, <laughs> found my center. I think we're good. I think we're good, but thanks for contributing. How many guitar professors have we been through now? I don't know, a lot, but keep them coming. Their pain entertains me. Now the guitar smash originated in the late 50s, maybe the early 60s. We don't really know. It's been called many different things. Irresponsible, dangerous, costly. But in this class, we simply call it rock and roll. Here's what we're gonna do now. We're going to learn how to effectively destroy the guitar on stage without causing any bodily injury to yourself or to the people that have paid for tickets to see you in concert. <laughs> oh great, you don't trust me. Take your thumb. We're gonna put it on the deck of the guitar back here. We're gonna take that thumb, we're gonna rotate the hand over, and we grab the neck of the guitar while at the same time dropping the pick. We take the hand, put it under the neck, lift it over, windmill it over, grab it, and then we ah! 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 My back, my back, my back. Guys, I don't think his arm's supposed to bend that way. Yeah, somebody better call an ambulance. Hey, Max, you calling him? No, I'm getting a picture for the school yearbook. <laughs> Say cheese, Mr. D. Hey, Audrey, do you think that I could get some sugar packets for my coffee? Sure. You can get some sugar packets behind the counter. You know, I can't find them. Do you know where they are? Well, Caroline, I suppose if it's an emergency, I'll just stop reading this article on improving my customer service skills and help you. Oh, there you go. Thanks. Sure thing. Oh, and um, sorry to bother you again, but do you think I could get a refill? You know you're really high maintenance, Miss Dancer Lady. <laughs> Audrey! Here's the tip jar. Really, Audrey? Never mind. What, no tip? <laughs> oh, it looks like we have an I ask question. Hello, I Shine Academy. Disappointed in Denver here. I really looked up to a guy at my church. I thought he was the kind of guy that I really wanted to be like. But then he did something that really let me down. How do I know that the role model I'm following is the right one? Wow. Oh, that's tough. Hey, where'd all this coffee come from? Columbia? No, this coffee. They are so messy, Uncle. That's all I do all day long is clean up after those boys. I'm exhausted. Can I go home early? Yes, go home early. Take it easy. The rest of the day off. Michael. You must clean this up now. <laughs> hey, we got problems. 
Deffenbach's injury makes the third guitar showmanship professor we've had in a month. What are we going to do? I could always teach the class. Oh yeah, I was the 1989 Supreme Air Guitar Champion for the Tri-State area. No way. Check it out. Just now? Where? Olivia? Hey, what's this? Our tickets! Ah! To the limited engagement, fan club members only, midnight premiere of The Starving Games. Oh, I love The Starving yeah. Games book! Yeah, it's a vampire girl pitted against her werewolf boyfriend in an epic food fight battle of the millennia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Olivia loves herself some Starving Games. And Alexis is definitely the number two fan. <laughs> yeah. I loved the books, and I'm so excited to see the movie. Mm. Oh, I know. Let's go dress as our favorite character. Yeah! Okay. I could go as that one guy, or I could be standing here by myself. <laughs> Romans 12.8 says, If God has given you leadership ability, take the responsibility seriously. If you have a gift for showing kindness to others, do it gladly. In God's eyes, we are all leaders, and it's our responsibility to set an example for others. We're supposed to spread His word and shine His light. So no matter what you do, whether it's dancing, acting, singing, playing sports, be a leader and set an example. We'll be right back after this short break. People call me Nails because they say I'm tough as nails. But I'll tell you, I haven't been tough enough to beat spit tobacco. I've tried, and I'm going to keep trying until I win. But until then, do both of us a favor. Copy my hustle. Copy my desire. But please, don't copy my tobacco use. Just play the game! Message furnished by Major League Baseball and the Major League Baseball Players Association.